Hi, uh, welcome to this episode of Sale Vault. And in today's episode, I'll walk you through BlackBerry Balance. BlackBerry Balance is a functionality that BlackBerry offers to all those consumers who have subscribed to BlackBerry Enterprise Service. This is usually used in the corporates uh, and uh, it's a very secure way of communication. So uh, you can use your uh, one single device as your corporate and your personal device. And while it creates two spaces, it also ensures that there is security which is maintained. BlackBerry has always been known for its uh, servers and uh, the security that they offer. So in this episode, I'll walk you through BlackBerry Balance. Now, what you see on your devices or on your laptops right now is a Z30, which is one of the latest flagship devices by BlackBerry. And this is running BlackBerry 10.2 operating system. And uh, viewers to know more about BlackBerry Z30 and 10.2 operating systems, you can watch some of our videos on the Cell Vault channel. So coming back to the BlackBerry balance, some uh, it's, it's one of the very fantastic features that I have seen in very few devices and uh, what it does. Okay, so if you see, this is my home screen on my Z30. Now what I'll do is I'll put my finger in the center and just slide down. So if you see, it gives me two space, one's the my personal and one's my workspace. So what happens, right? So from a company perspective, I've got uh, my employees who work in my premise, right? And they bring in all sort of devices. One's bringing an Android, someone's working on an iOS or a BlackBerry. So BlackBerry gives you this option also, which is called BYOD, which is bring your own devices. So anyone who's using any devices can be configured in BlackBerry Enterprise Server and can be managed via a single console. So the moment you are subscribed to BlackBerry Enterprise Service, you get this functionality when you drag down, it will not be there on any common device which you get out there in the market. So once you're subscribed to BlackBerry Enterprise Service, it gives you this functionality where it separates your phone into two spaces, one's a personal and one's a workspace. So if you see all this menu that's there on my phone right now is my personal space. So you can see all the games. You can see my ET app, my Indie TV app. Uh, I, I pretty much I play the stick cricket very much. You can see stick cricket. I'm a big freak of this game. Flipboat. These are all the apps which are sitting on my BlackBerry personal space. Then you've got this BBM also here. And uh, what's there on my workspace? So all I'll do is I'll drag this down and I go in my workspace. The moment I switch to my workspace, you'll see my wallpaper changes and my games are all gone. Usually companies do not prefer you playing games once you are at work. So what it has done, it has bridged my device. Now on top of it, what it does, it lets IT administrators enforce policies on the devices, such as the moment you step into your office, the cameras should not work. The Bluetooth goes off, it's disabled, right? So all these IT policies, there are more than 2000 IT policies that can be managed by IT administrators. And once you are inside the office, all those policies come into picture. Now, let me show you what it does. So I'll switch on to my personal space first. And if you see up here, I've got my picture gallery, which has all my picture that I've clicked from this eight megapixel camera on my Z30. When I go on my pictures, you would see I've got my pictures up here. These are my pictures that I clicked. And if I want to switch back to my workspace, you see these pictures are no more there. You can't see those pictures. That's because this is my workspace and that there is my personal space. So one thing, your personal space and your workspace is different. Second, the security is maintained in a manner that nothing from your workspace can be sent to your personal space. So how does this happen? First thing, I've got something called as a file manager here. So if I switch to this file manager, you would see it shows a device work. So that means all my work files are in this section. If I touch here, it gives me personal. So this is the 10.2 that BlackBerry has come up with. You would not see this in 10.1. But the moment I click my personal space, it takes me to my personal space file. So you can access your personal and your workspace via file manager also. Getting back to my main menu here. Now on this screen, I'll go back to my personal space. And let's say I want to access some website. I go in my browser and okay, this is my mail.yahoo.com. Now this is my personal space browser. I swipe up and let's say I go to my main menu and I want to go back to my workspace. Now, now see the magic, I open my browser again. Now this is my browser which is running on my 
workspace and I open let's say Facebook now while this opens up usually workspace would not allow you Facebook but depends on your company policies let's see if my company allows me to access Facebook while this happens I just swipe up and when I swipe up you see there are two browsers running now this does not mean I have two browser in my phone my phone only has one browser and Blackberry browser is the best amongst the counterparts so if you haven't checked our HTML test videos you can surely go ahead and check that one which will tell you how does Blackberry browser share fares against other videos uh, but then this is my browser which uh, one has a briefcase which means it's my workspace browser and the one without the briefcase is for my personal space so there's a difference there's a split between the browsers also while it's only one but I still work browser is for workspace and my personal browser is for my personal space so this is my personal browser there's my work browser the sites that you access on your workspace would stay on your workspace and the sites that you access in your personal space would stay on your personal space. So this is my Facebook, which I just opened on my workspace. I go back onto my personal space here. And if I go on my browser up here, you would see it's only giving me Yahoo that I have access. It's not giving me Facebook. Though I have access, but then because it's on my workspace, it hasn't shown me up in my personal space. That's one. Second, uh, the BlackBerry world. Blackberry world on your personal space would look something different than what it would look from your workspace and that is because your IT administrator restricts the access to all the other apps that uh, you're not supposed to access at your workspace. Now this is my personal space Blackberry world and it's giving me all the apps that are available on the Blackberry world. I can go ahead and download any paid or a free one. If I go in my workspace and I open up my browser let's say blackberry world for work it would only give me a few selected apps which my company guy wants me to download that's it i cannot search for let's say i want to search for stick cricket i type in cic case stick and i want to say cricket cri cricket stick cricket and i do a search now if you see no results found that does not mean stick cricket is not there in the blackberry world but my company guy does not want me to download Stick Cricket while I'm at my office. So this is BlackBerry Balance, which lets you access your personal and your workspace on one device. And the best part is it's not only on a BlackBerry device that you can do it, but with BYOD, bring your own devices, your iOS and your Android can also be configured and managed by a single console. So if your guys or if your employees are leaving company, right, and they have some corporate data, all what companies usually do is they would wipe up the workspace and hand the device back to them. So they leave only with the personal data and not the, with the work data. So we are just taking the security one level up. That's BlackBerry Balance. And for more information, please subscribe to Cell Vault. Thank you.